hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet please click that subscribe button all right so today we'll be looking at headers and footer when it comes to microsoft excel applying headers and footer is quite different from other applications that we have seen previously like microsoft word or microsoft um, powerpoint so to do that for Microsoft Excel, hover your mouse to where you have the page layout. Then the page setup group, here in the page setup group, click the dialog box launcher. Now this box is out, click where you have the header and footer button. At this point, top box here is where you have your header, but you can't key in any tests there. What you need to do, is click the custom header and the custom footer so i'm going to illustrate with the custom header first now if you click on the custom header this is what comes out and you have three sections three boxes where you can put in your information as preferred and the other information you need to know about this are these buttons that are here excel also provides you with multiple buttons that allows you to insert pre-created fields of information. These fields are format test, insect page number, insect number of pages, insect date, insect time, insect file part, insect mm -hmm. file name, insect sheet name, insect picture and format picture now let's start with the um, left section and key in say you want to put in your name so you type in grafted technology all right when you key in information um, this part you can also format the test that you have keyed in to format this test you select that particular test click on the format button which is this particular one now this yellow box comes out you can change the test you keyed into bold here is the preview you can as well increase the font size and change here the font type depending your preference and up here you can put an underline double underline that if you want to and here you can also you can change the color of the test so you can actually format the test that goes into your header or footer section all right so we've done that and in the section the, the center section um, part or box let's key in the date say probably current date so you hover your mouse across those buttons and here is the date click on it we have date inserted already and here where we have the right section click on the box click inside of it and let's add the file name to add file name again hover your mouse until you get the one that says file name here is the file name click we have a file name and click ok all right that was the custom header now let's customize the footer click on the custom button for footer you can see here showing you footer again you have three boxes now it depends on what exactly you want to key in now at this right section let's key in page number click on the box right section key in the page number insect page number there we have it and by the left section we want to um, I'd like to key in or insect picture to do that over your mouse where you have this button insect picture If you have picture on your computer you click walk offline or you click this part from file and then you browse in your system Let's get a picture from the internet Press ok So it's gonna give us some creative commons um, pictures I'll just click on that and say insect now I have my picture there. I like to format this picture else it will be too large for the footer. So I hover my mouse again to format a picture. Format picture. I click on the last button. 
at this point you can see the height of that picture is 11 point whatever centimeter so i would reduce it to two centimeter for the height and then for the width i would also make it a two centimeter as well and while i do that you can see the scale here the percentage changes you don't need to increase or edit that aspect this is always okay is default so you don't need to bother yourself on those boxes and click OK. All right, so we're done inserting the information we actually want and click OK. All right, so we are done with the header and the footer. You can see right here the logo or the picture inserted over here in the footer. And by the right hand side of the footer, we have page number. And this is also the information we have there. Once you're done, this point is fine. You don't need to bother yourself on that. It's the default. And then you go ahead and say, OK. So that's it. To see if you actually keyed in the right information, because right here, when it's in the normal view of Excel, you won't see what you have worked on. So to see that, click on the page layout by the status bar. And there you go. Here are the information we keyed in for right the header it's showing here book one because we do not have a name or title for this um, document yet so it took that particular name book one so if i scroll down and here we are this is the, um, the page number and here is our logo so that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did kindly hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video.